For this solution, firstly we need to just remove this grouping, so we'll ungroup it. And we're just going to take the date out of here. What we're now going to do is take the duration, which previously we've been adding, counting, etc. We're going to drag it and actually put it into the rows. I'm just going to ungroup it. So you can see all the details. So this is showing every single one second call, two second calls, etc. What we're just going to do is we're going to remove this average duration. And we're going to pull the bill in. But we're actually going to pull it in twice. One of them is going to be the sum of bill. And this one here, we're going to change to the count. Okay. Now this is too much information. So what we want to do is group these to be a bit more meaningful. So if you right click on this and you say group, you'll see we can choose how we want to group it. This is time. So what we're going to do is rather group it in minutes. Just get rid of the months. When I say OK, you'll see it now tells me the total number of calls and amount for calls that were from 0 to 59 seconds, then 1 minute, etc. To check which calls here are the 21 minute calls, to see what the underlying stuff is, remember it's as simple as you choose one of them and you double click. And you can now see the exact details relating to that call in a separate sheet. Just going back to the pivot table, we then want to create a simple graph. So on the pivot table tab, you'll see something called a pivot chart. When we choose it, depending on the version of Excel you have, you can then specify what the chart should look like. We can see we already have an option of a clustered column there, which is the end result we want. So I'm going to go here, and when I say OK, you'll see it spits this out. And you can note that the difference here between how many calls are made versus the cost of the calls and the actual shape of the graph.